is Christine Hauquist. First transgender governor nominated in Vermont primary Christine Hauquist has made history after becoming the first transgender governor to be nominated and is expected to win the Vermont primary for the Democrats, in what has been hailed as a breakthrough moment for LGBTQ Americans. She will now face incumbent Republican Governor Phil Scott, who survived backlash over his support of gun restrictions in the November general election. After a year that has broken records for the number of lesbian, gay and transgender candidates. While she acknowledged how symbolic her election as one of the U.S.'s first ever transgender governor would be, Howquist stated that her campaign would focus on improving the state's economy. The whole world is looking at this as a historic moment for a transgender candidate, but that's not what Vermont looked at. Vermonters looked at, what's Christine and her team going to do for Vermont? look to Vermont. We continue to demonstrate leadership in civil rights and how to honor and work with each other. We can be a beacon for the rest of the world. Christine Hauquist is a 62-year-old grandmother who currently resides in Hyde Park, a village in the town of Limoyle County in Vermont, and is married with three children and two grandchildren, as reported by the Burlington Free Press. As the former CEO of Vermont Electric Cooperative for 13 years, she focused on addressing the issue of climate change but resigned this year in order to focus on her gubernatorial campaign. She also served on the school board and was a Hyde Park town moderator. Vermont has always felt like home for Christine, especially after her transition at the end of 2015 when she said that the state had welcomed me with open arms. She also won support from the LGBTQ Victory Fund. After the results were announced, Mayor Anise Parker, the group's CEO and president said, Christine's victory is a defining moment in the movement for trans equality and is especially remarkable given how few out trans elected officials there are at any level of government. A documentary about Christine Hauquist was released in 2016, directed by her son Derek Hauquist and followed how the electric company CEO and Vermont's presence in national energy. In the film, Christine and her son filmed coal plants and wind farms before visiting Congress and revealing flaws in America's energy system. Christine Hauquist is in with a chance of winning the Democratic Vermont primary and face GOP Governor Rick Scott, who defeated businessman Keith Stern. He said, I know there are some who are still upset with me who may not welcome tonight's result but there's so much more that unites us than sets us apart. And no one agrees with their friends all the time. But as our success shows we can make a lot of good progress when we have clear priorities and we pull in the same direction," Scott said. However, Hauquist declared that her campaign would improve Vermont's economy. She also said that she would work toward universal primary care in Vermont and pursue a coalition of states to pursue a Medicare for All system. Hauquist supports the ban of assault weapons, but has mentioned that it is not of high importance for her. Hauquist defeated environmental activist James Ellers, dance festival organizer Brenda Siegel, and 14-year-old student Ethan Sonneborn, on the ballot because a quirk in state law doesn't require candidates to be of voting age. She also joins three other openly LGBTQ candidates for governor this year, a historically high number. Gubernatorial candidates Luke Valdez of Texas, Kate Brown of Oregon and Jared Polis of Colorado, all Democrats are out as LGBTQ, as reported by ABC News.